Welcome back all of my subbies to another episode of the Let's Play and we are on episode 13. No, we're on episode 14. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last episode was 13. So, um, this is basically what I've been working on a little bit, you know, in between episodes and this is actually the mob trap. Um, I know it's a lot different from what we left off last time so it doesn't look like anything that we did before. Um, the reason why I changed it up and I decided to do that was um, because basically, let me just turn this volume down, I'm sorry. Um, the mob trap was coming up a little bit too much above that mountain and it was it was going to show it, precisely what I did not want to happen was happening and so I decided to go ahead and um, completely eliminate and just get rid of it all and start over so I decided to go ahead and go down a little bit further and um, bring it down here so I think this is going to work out just fine it's going to be very very much perfect for this project you can already see um, and I was also told it was 25 blocks for mobs to die so this is going to allow me to be able to go up that high and I believe this is about 23 blocks right now so I'll need to go um, bring it out just a little bit further I mean you're going to be able to see a little bit of the mob trap but I could always cover it with dirt with terrain you know whatever just to hide it and it should be a lot better than what we were uh, kind of working on before. Now it is getting dark already. Let me go ahead and light it up in here because there is not a not there's not a lot of light. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. Um, so uh, yeah, basically I just want to work on the little hallway here. I did uh, tweet some pictures out a couple of days ago about some of the progress, uh, but I went ahead and changed it up. I did have the I think it was andesite or something that I had here before, but I decided to change it out with the birch wood, and I think that really looks great together, the sandstone and the birch wood. So um, we're gonna go ahead and work on the little uh, the wall accents here. And um, I was kind of messing around in creative, and I thought about doing something like this. Now I love the acacia bark bark I guess the outer part logs <laughs> but I think I just think it looks absolutely awesome against this for some reason I just think it looks really good so we're gonna go ahead and go with that now um, the struggles that I'm having actually I need to go get some sandstone the struggles I'm having is um, we don't know whether whether or not I like having oak wood when there's birch wood right there I don't know, that's kind of the struggles that I have right now. But I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. Um, and then in here, eventually, um, if we're ever, ever able to go to the nether, which I'm hoping is going to be very soon, we'll need to find some more um, diamonds and such and more gold because I've used a lot of the gold on the track. Um, we're going to put glowstone here. So if in the future, we're going to have glowstone there. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and place torches. Um, well, I guess you can't place those right on top of the... I thought you could place them right on top of the stairs. I guess you can't. Well, we're going to put them there for now. But yeah, we're going to have glowstone there, and I think that's going to look pretty nice. And then maybe trap doors over it to kind of hide it. But uh, yeah, so we need to head over to our storage room and grab some sandstone. i got to make sure no mobs are out here. There's always something out here, and it falls on my head, and it's just a mess. What is that, sapling? So yeah, I'll take that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the storage room. Reed, Reed Farm is looking pretty good. Um, we're going to head over here and grab us some sandstone. Alrighty, and um, yeah guys, also a lot of you have seemed to really like the cake slice for my texture pack that I'm working on. Um, to be honest, I haven't done much else to this texture pack. I mean, it's it's just default texture pack. It's, it's nothing too major. All I did was change out the bread and make, make it cake. Um, but I'm going to change it, maybe a couple of more things. Not too much because I want to keep it as true to the regular um, texture pack as possible. Uh, yeah, the regular default texture pack because I absolutely love it, okay? I mean, I do use texture packs from time to time, but for the most part, I like keeping it default, and I think it just looks looks pretty good. All right. Um, that lantern just came out so cool. Not, lan not lantern, but the uh, the scarecrow. He's like, it's just so bright. It's crazy. Can't even get over that. All right. Um, oh, yeah, and also with the tracks I was saying earlier, there's a skeleton over there. Um, I got a lot of it done. Uh, there's actually a birchwood forest over there that I was able to get to and a little bit past that is the swamp biome that I've been wanting to get to as well and hopefully see some slimes. I have yet to see slimes in survival for pocket edition and I think it'd be pretty cool to see that. I just wanted to show you guys this track and I've been talking about it a lot so I'm just going to show you the much, pretty much the progress. I see a creeper down there. No. Okay, never mind that. Okay, so this, I'm glad I saw him before I decided to take off. So here's the track. I've showed you guys pretty much this, and there's Endermen everywhere. They're just like running around. And actually, I think that's the same one. We're gonna head over here. Leave me alone, creeper. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. We're just just gonna go, let's just jump on the track from here. Let's get on this baby. All right. So I'm gonna pretty much show you guys how far I've gotten. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna make this nice. Hopefully, I'm gonna 
pretty it up a little bit, probably add a little bit of, you know, some decoration, you know, for like the lighting and stuff like that. For now, I just kind of place torches everywhere and of course it would get dark. <laughs> of course it would get dark. Ouch. <laughs> of course it would get dark right as I get on the track. So, um, but this is how far I've gone and this has taken so much iron. Oh my God, creeper. He's hanging out in the water. Um, this has taken up so much of, uh, of my iron and it's just crazy. But you can see the birchwood forest. No, get away from me. Okay, I have plenty of food, I think, so we'll be we'll be okay. But you can see the birchwood forest in the distance. And if you see that pillar from here, let me just show you. This is my original spawn point. And I think I actually I think in an episode I already showed you guys my spawn point. But you can see the pillar from here. So if I die, that's pretty much probably where I'll where I'll end up. And I just love I love the view from here. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. I am about to die if I don't get away from the skeleton. The view, though, is incredibly gorgeous. It's just so nice. I love the skies. It just looks so beautiful. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, hopefully I can make it home without dying. Um, oh, gosh. Let's get away from that creeper. No, oh my gosh. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that I sacrificed my life. To make sure my subby saw the progress on the <laughs> on the tracks. Man, I need to get on this thing and just run. Please. Let's just run. No, please hurry. Okay. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head home and I'll see you guys when I get back. Um, okay, so right here, I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. There we go. And then we're going to put, again, put these here. Let's put that and there, like so. Alright, and I'm going to grab that sandstone I just grabbed. Alright, we need to fill all this in right here. I think I feel, oh, I didn't fill that in. I'm going to fill all this in here. Whoops, not there. Okay, let's remove that. Okay, very good. And then we're going to go ahead and use our, our half slabs. I have plenty of those and I filled that in already. Uh, let's do this and this. Actually, what did I mess up? Oh, I made a boo-boo right here. Okay. This is where the uh, the beam is going to go across. The acacia beam. And I think we're going to have just enough acacia logs for this. Because I didn't I didn't think we were going to have enough earlier. But I think this is going to work out. Oh, what was that? Did a spider fall? Oh, we got a, we got a visitor here, guys. We have a visitor. Get dead, guy. Okay. Well, we got some bones and stuff. Alright, Um, let's see here. Yeah, half slab and half slab. Yeah, I like that. And it kind of gives it a, a nice little, um, gives us some depth. A little bit of depth. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and put some acacia logs here too. I think this will work out good. There we go. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I, I think that's too much because this hallway is really not that, not that long. And I think putting, I think that's too much. We're just going to leave it, um, yeah, we're just going to leave it with the, half slabs just like that. There we go. Two beams is good enough. I think that'll be fine. Um, right here I am thinking I may put in a beam as well but I'm not too sure because I'm, I'm not too sure how I want to make the entrance. I know I want to make it really nice and just you know like boom awesomeness I don't know uh, just to make it look pretty cool for the mob trap and there's a skeleton over here being sneaky he's trying to hide. Look at him. Okay. Uh, let's see yeah. So anyways yeah big nice grand entrance maybe. Um, so you walk in, you have a couple of beams here, and I think that looks just fine. We're just going to leave it like that. Alright, and we only have two logs of acacia left. Darn it. Okay, so we're going to go out, we're going to head out in the darkness, and um, let's go ahead and grab some more uh, acacia logs. And I hope I don't die. Now, I think I'll be good. I've, I've seemed to lit up the place pretty awesome, um, <laughs> enough to where they are not really spawning, the mobs are not spawning as much. I mean, they still, they'll see me in the distance and they'll come my way, but for the most part, I mean, it's, I think it's really helped putting all the torches everywhere. I mean, I absolutely don't like it. I think uh, having torches all over the ground, it just looks kind of tacky, but I mean, for the most part, I mean, whatever. It's going to work for now. I need, I need more logs than this when I get six. Yeah, I, I did replant saplings as well, but I replanted them all over there and there's, there's a lot of mobs over there. I think I want to stay clear. All right, let's go ahead and tear this down because for for one, we're going to be building on this side anyways. I'm thinking about building the market over here by the water because um, I definitely wanted to work on... I keep hearing footsteps. It's freaking me out. Let me get my, my dirt. There we go. Get that last log up here. 
So, um, anyways, yes, I want to work on a small town. Of course, I did talk about that before, guys. And um, we'll be doing that, hopefully, in this area here. Look at the Enderman. He's like, oh, shoot. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I hate that noise. It's so awful. Oh, I hate that. Let me run. Run, 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 run. Where's he at? Oh god. Okay. Woo! Okay, I I have chills right now, guys. I have chills. I can't stand that Enderman moan, that screaming that it does. Ugh, it gives me the heebie jeebies. Okay. Um golly, I lost my train my train of thought too. Um oh yes, I was talking about the village or the town. We're gonna build it over there by the water, and I think surrounding the water I think is gonna look really nice. We can even build like a little bridge in there going across the river. I mean, I don't know. Um and have it somehow kind of blending into that little body of water over there. Like building the you know, pretty much terraforming all of that and then having it blend into that body of water. And I think it's gonna look pretty nice. And then we get to build a bridge and stuff, which I love building bridges. It's just so fun. <laughs> Um, alright, so let's go ahead and hide. Or not hide. I'm actually I'm just still scared. Hopefully the Enderman is, is over it and he's not mad at me anymore. But we're gonna head over back to our mob trap. Finish up um, some of the wall decoration, hopefully. And uh, not die in the process. Alright, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and finish doing this. Here we go. Awesome. And anyways, yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep the oak. I think the oak will look pretty good, even though we have the birch wood floors. I don't know, guys. You let me know. I mean, I could be completely wrong on this. You know, it could look like complete crap. <laughs> but hopefully, you guys don't seem to think so. Um, okay, there we go. And all right. So I'm gonna. I'm trying to make this kind of a quick recording as well, guys. I'm about, I'm about to go to the drive-in. I absolutely love. I love going to the movies, and so. Those are pretty much my plans for tonight. Tonight is Friday night, and I thought about trying to record and like upload this guys for like like the same day recording thing like I used to do back in the old days. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that for like editing and stuff like that. Editing takes the most amount of like the most time. Like recording for me, I'm usually pretty good at getting it like one shot recording, um, like you know a 20 minute video, 20 minute episode, and then I can I can edit. The edit process is what takes the longest. Oh my gosh, it takes me like maybe an hour and a half to two hours to edit a 20 minute video. I don't know why, if it's just me, <laughs> I don't know, but um, it, it just happens to be like that. So, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to the drive-in tonight and I'm going to go see um, that new Tornado movie. I've been wanting to see that. I, I was a big fan of Twister. Like, for some reason, tornadoes are just so intriguing to me. And so I'm going to go see that, so I'm hoping it's not a complete, um, <laughs> like a complete disappointment. The last time I went to the movies, I went and saw, um, The New Planet of the Apes, The Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and that movie was so good. Like, I literally was in tears. I just thought about something. What if I do this? But, um, let me see. If I put the stairs, like, oh my gosh, that's not how I want to do it. Okay, get in this, get in the right direction, Daphne, first off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't even uh, place these right. Why isn't it placing right? What's going on? Okay. There we go, finally. Okay, what if I place the blocks or place the stairs like that? You kind of have them blending. Nah, we're going to keep half slabs. Just keep the half slabs. I keep trying to change it, but we're going to keep that. So anyways, yes. Last time I went to the drive-in, we went to go see The Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So good. That movie was awesome. If you guys have not seen that movie, you need to see it. It's like the best movie ever. I'm probably going to get so much hate for that. A lot of you guys are probably like, no, it's not. It's like the worst movie ever. No, it was so good. It was a great, great movie. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. So I'm pretty excited, though, to see this tornado movie. Um, I'm, all, I'm calling it the tornado movie. I don't even know what it's actually called, but it just looks like a really, uh, really kind of uh, eerie kind of, I don't know. It just it looks good it looks good so yeah I mean I think I think it's for the most part the uh, the walls are looking pretty nice I mean I know it's just a mob trap I know but I like I like my stuff to look nice I like my builds to look you know pretty good there we go and then we're just gonna put the lighting there and of course oh yes the inside I wanted to fix this before I head off for my evening I think I'm gonna place stairs here 
and here, here, and here, here, and here. And then for the actual, oh wait, should I just fill this in with um, uh, sandstone? Yeah, we're just going to do that. I was going to put in like um, some logs or even like some andesite or something, but I think I'm going to leave it just like that. And then we need to fill this part in. There we go. I think we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need some more birch wood. We only have two slabs here. So you want to do something like that. I don't know. Let's just, let's head up back to our storage and uh, let's grab some more birch wood really quick. Alrighty, so do I have, yes, plenty of birch wood here. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, so my track heads all the way, or it's pretty much reached the birchwood forest. So close to the swamp biome, it's going to be easy access. And then, you know, of course, since I have my spawn pretty much set up, my compass and, and everything else, it's going to be pretty easy for me to travel and not be scared to get lost. Because that was like my one fear when I first started season two, was my fear of getting lost. There we go. Yeah, and I think that I think that works out pretty good. Just ignore all this. This is ugly. I know, but we're going to work on that next time. We're going to finish in or fill it all in and work on the entrance as well. And I think it's going to look pretty nice. But yeah, I think this is coming together pretty good. And yeah, once we get the glowstone for that, I think that'll look pretty nice as well. Let's see. And then all of this up here, like the actual uh, mob trap and everything it's itself. I may work um, work on it a little bit in between episodes and then I'll come back and kind of just show you guys the general um, the, Pretty much how I do them, which is the pretty the basic way if you've got Google or YouTube how to make a mob trap It's gonna be the pretty much the basic build of that because that's how I learned to do them So so anyways guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for this episode Hopefully you all enjoyed and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye